You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, offered his sincere congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, and to the Saudi Crown Prince and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the success of the International Championship for the custodian of the two holy mosques endurance camp for the second year in a row, which was held in Al Ula Governorate with the participation of 204 riders representing 17 countries over a distance of 120 kilometers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his appreciation for the presence of the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, which affirms His Highness's keenness to contribute to the success of the Kestoni of the Two Holy Mosques Cup and also His Highness's support for the endurance sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad extended his congratulations to the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the occasion of his winning the title, pointing out that the crowning of His Highness affirms the distinguished position in the endurance sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the wide participation witness by the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques Cup of Endurance as the tournament has become the focus of attention of the world riders where more than 200 men and women from various countries of the world took part in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad praised the new success of the Royal Commission of Al Ula Governorate and the Saudi Equestrian Federation to bring the championship to the best organizational level, expressing his appreciation for all the efforts made by the organizing committee and its keenness to provide full service for the participating riders. The UAE riders dominated the first three places where His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum clinched the first place, second place was Ahmed Al Mazroui, and third place was Saeed Ahmed Al Harbi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa delegated the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, to attend the horse races held on His Royal Highness's Cup at the racetrack in Sakhir. Also present were the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Present at the race were also Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan Al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. Sheikh Salman bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, government officials, diplomats, horse racing fans. The race comprised of seven events. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa presented the cups of His Royal Highness and the Bahrain Oaks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also presented the club's Supreme Committee Cup to Sheikh Salman bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the delegated cup to Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa. Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa also presented the cup of His Royal Highness for locally bred horses and the Bahrain Derby Cup to Fawzi Nas. The race included a number of activities.
During his participation in the extraordinary session of the Arab League at the ministerial level, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and wishes of continued health, luck and success to the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The Minister of Foreign Affairs reiterated Bahrain's firm position regarding the Palestinian issue and the Kingdom's support for all efforts aimed at reaching a just and comprehensive solution to this issue and leads to the restoration of the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. During the meeting, the Foreign Minister gave the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Fakhamat al-Rais Mahmoud Abbas, Rais Dawlat Palestine al-Shaqiqa. Ma'ali al-Akh Muhammad Ali al-Hakim, Wazir Kharijiyya Jumhuriyyat al-Iraq al-Shaqiqa, Rais al-Dawra al-Haliyya, Limajlis Jamiyat al-Dawla al-Arabiyya al-Mustawa al-Wazari. Ikhwani Ashab al-Ma'ali al-Wazara. معالي الأخ أحمد أبو الغيط أمين العام لجامعة الدول العربية أصحاب المعالي والسعادة يسعدني في البداية أن أنقل لكم فخامة الرئيس وللأخوة ممثلي الدول العربية تحيات حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك مملكة البحرين حفظه الله ورعاه وتمنياته لكم بدوام الصحة والعافية والتوفيق والنجاح وأود في هذا الاجتماع الهام أن أجدد التأكيد على موقف مملكة البحرين الثابت والراسخ من القضية الفلسطينية ودعمها لكافة الجهود الهادفة للتوصل إلى حل عادل وشامل لهذه القضية ويؤدي لاستعادة كافة الحقوق المشروعة للشعب الفلسطيني الشقيق أما بالنسبة للخطة التي تقدم بها فخامة, الرئيس فخامة رئيس الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية فأننا نقدرها ونعرب عن تطلعنا بأن يتم النظر, في النظر إليها ودراسة إيجابياتها ومتطلبات استكمالها والعمل على بدء مفاوضات مباشرة بين الجانبين للتوصل لاتفاق يلبي تطلعاتنا جميعا للسلام الشامل والعادل والدائم ويضمن إقامة الدولة الفلسطينية المستقلة على حدود الرابع من يونيو 1967 وعاصمتها القدس الشرقية على مبدأ حل الدولتين واستنادا إلى مبادرة السلام العربية وقرارات الشرعية الدولية ذات الصلة كما نؤكد على أهمية يقوم المجتمع الدولي بتحمل مسؤولياته في حماية الشعب الفلسطيني الشقيق من أي خطوات أحادية تتنافى مع قرارات الأمم المتحدة والقانون الدولي نكرر لفخامتكم تقديرنا لجهودكم الكبيرة وعلى حرصكم للاجتماع بنا لتوحيد الموقف العربي إزاء التطورات والمستجدات بالنسبة لالتزامنا الأكبر ولقضيتنا الأولى القضية الفلسطينية شكرا سيدي الرئيس The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met with the Foreign Minister of Egypt. During the meeting, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed affirmed the deep-rooted bilateral relations and expressed appreciation for the role of Egypt in preserving Arab national security. For his part, the Egyptian Foreign Minister expressed pride in the close bilateral relations with Bahrain and expressed his country's keenness in developing them further in the service of the two countries and their people. The Kingdom of Bahrain reiterates its deep pride in the strong and firm historic relations that extend for more than 200 years with the United Kingdom and its satisfaction with the significant progress in the bilateral cooperation that reflects the constant mutual desire to further our partnership towards even greater accomplishments. The Kingdom of Bahrain praises the United Kingdom's pivotal role as a strategic ally and essential partner in maintaining security and promoting stability and peace in the region and the world at large. Following the exit of the UK from the European Union, the Kingdom of Bahrain expresses its aspirations aspirations to strengthen existing relations in all fields, to develop economic and commercial cooperation and to intensify coordination on regional and international issues in accordance with the interests and mutual benefit of our two countries and our people. 
A parliamentary delegation concluded participating in the 15th meeting of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC Federation, which was held in Burkina Faso. The delegation participated in the meetings of a number of permanent committees in the Federation, emphasizing the successes and accomplishments achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain at all levels of sustainable development. The Oga Dogo Declaration, which was issued at the end of the session, a number of rather stressed a number of issues, the most prominent of which is the adherence of the basic principles of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, especially with regards to non-interference in the internal affairs of countries and respecting the territorial integrity and sovereignty of states and the peaceful settlement of disputes through dialogue. The declaration affirmed the condemnation of all forms of violence, terrorism and extremism witnessed by a number of Islamic countries, calling for intensifying international efforts to combat them and working to bring peace and stability to various countries. His Royal Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development Committee organized a lecture entitled Achieving Sustainable Development in the Middle East Challenges and Opportunities. The lecture was delivered by Global Economist, Director of the Earth Institute at Columbia University and Professor of Sustainable Development Policies, Jeffrey Sachs. A number of government officials, ambassadors, academics and media personnel attended the event, which was held at the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Center for Culture and Research in Muharraq. Professor Sachs praised the wise policies of the kingdom in laying the foundations for peace, pointing out the Kingdom's distinguished global position in the quest towards achieving international peace and security. Sachs noted the role of the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in his vision and promoting global peace through His Royal Highness's numerous initiatives, including the adoption of the 5th of April of every year as the International Day of Conscience, a move which was approved by the United Nations. During his talks, Sachs had added that the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals have made it one of the leading countries in the path towards global sustainability. He praised the progress made in the adoption and implementation of the goals of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. He stressed on the importance of expediting the adoption and implementation of national environmental strategies in the face of climate change. Achieving sustainable development in the Middle East, challenges and opportunities was the theme of an integrated forum held this morning at the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Center for Culture and Research in Muharraq. Organized by the committee overseeing His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's Award for Sustainable Development, the forum was attended by government officials, ambassadors, academics and media personalities. Guest speaker Professor Jeffrey Sachs led the discussion on the impacts of an evolving world on the quest towards achieving the UN set SDGs. We're in a major global challenge right now and it's basically a challenge of understanding that we face geopolitical change, we face rapid technological change, and we face major environmental crises. And to solve all of these problems peacefully, we need to understand them and to understand each other. And so when we have global agreements like the Paris Climate Agreement or the Sustainable Development Goals, they are an opportunity for global discussion together and brainstorming. And that's why events like today, for me, are so vital. And we're at a very the forum also highlighted Bahrain's positive progress towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, underscoring different initiatives that the government has undertaken in various sectors. Bahrain has made tremendous advances in so many areas, in health and education, social services and economic development, and yet it faces major challenges as well. So I think the new sustainable development orientation for renewable energy, for digital economy, uh, for the fourth industrial revolution, give a lot of perspective for Bahrain of a very effective way forward. Particularly this event will show to the uh, audience and to the uh, public what Bahrain is doing towards achieving sustainable environment. What are the uh, indicators that we have achieved and what are the challenges that we still need to progress in? The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by all UN member states in 2015 provides a shared blueprint for peace and prosperity for people and the planet now and into the future. At its heart are the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, which are an urgent call for action by all countries developed and developing in a global partnership. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News.